Ladies and gentlemen, peace. welcome back to another episode of Valheim. Um, in this episode, I want to start building my new base. But before that, I want to uh, I want to check something. You guys told me that Amber and these things, basically, I think what it says, valuable, you could sell to the merchant. So let's actually go see if that's the case. Uh, it's really interesting and it makes sense now. Oh, I should have probably labeled these. Uh, I think I think this is the merchant. It makes sense because uh, I mean, no recipes so far have popped up for any of these materials, and I've been picking them up for a while. So it makes sense that you can sell them to the merchant, and that would be actually really good because it will make uh, gold finding a lot easier. So let's see. Okay, so I can sell something. Uh, I don't see why there's no option of what you want to sell. Amber 35. Oh, 7 amber for 35 gold. Okay. 21 amber for 210. So it's just random. 18 rubies for 360. That's quite a bit. And Wait, that was it? Oh, I didn't see the amber pearls. Okay, also, I did buy the... What's it called? Megindrod. I bought the Megindrod and... Uh, 150 weight, dude. That's actually huge. It's just as I thought. Uh, gives the water superhuman strength. So that's really cool. Really cool. Uh, I think I spoke about that in the last episode. How um, it would be really nice if... They could do something about the weight and that's already in the game and i didn't know that so that's cool 150 weight's not too much but it's not little it's a good amount i'd say it's not op now um, i'm guessing that it may get reworked uh maybe increase it or decrease it i have no idea so let's actually um if this is the case i'm just gonna keep a few of these just just a stack of each um let's see and then i can move this stuff to a better box so this can be eyeballs maybe let's go like this move up oh, no take this take this move this and i think we are good and i have a bunch of gold so this means that the good thing about this is that it means that i do have unlimited fish because i can find amber all over the place right um every dungeon and i have stacks and stacks of it and already got what how much gold Already got 605 gold. You know, like 50. Wait, how much is it? Yeah, 50 fish bait is just 10 gold. First of all, I can get gold just by farming the um, the goblins, right? There's many places you can get gold. So, fishing is absolutely amazing. Also, there's a recipe for the fish, uh, which is really cool. Uh, the fish wraps, which are one of the best, or probably the best food. Well, I don't want to say the best, but one of the best foods in the game. So, a hundred. Okay, twenty for a hundred. Not bad. Four hundred for the rubies. Oh, okay. We're rich. We're freaking rich. Now, <clears throat> I wish there was a way to sell things back. Because I want to test if I buy another one, can I equip that as well? I'm guessing not. So, I'm not even going to test it. But there's not really anything else that I want to buy right now. This is just for looks. I mean, we got the fishing rod. I don't know. You mere flesh. I... Maybe this is gonna unlock a recipe? Mm. No, not yet. <clears throat> maybe in the future. Okay. Uh, wait. Okay, uh, I, I was I thought he was telling me something about it. All right, so let's stick that in the special chest <clears throat> And uh, I'm guessing there's gonna be some use for it So it's not that big of a deal. We have all um, practically unlimited uh, unlimited gold So that's really really cool uh, I'm gonna stick this in here and The gold actually I can uh, I don't have enough room for that maybe Maybe I can start moving this stuff here and move the gold here. 
a little bit more organized okay so um i need to do a little bit more fishing uh because i only have three fish left i made my decision guys my base is gonna be at the top of the hill at the very top of the hill that way i'm close to the ocean uh i'm also wait a minute where is this all right i'm also close to close to the mountain here close to the swamp uh close to black forest on both sides I think this is the perfect, perfect spot. And then the planes are not too far away. Not really that worried about the planes. As long as I can run to there and back on foot without having to uh, use a boat. That's all that matters to me. So, uh, this is going to be it. I think I'm going to start right here. Maybe, um, maybe actually level this. It's going to take quite a bit of hoeing down and probably digging as well. <clears throat> but I need the stone anyway. So, since... I might actually build a stone wall around this base. I think that should be the play because, like I said, this could be uh, more dangerous. I don't know how the game works. I, I'm not sure if building here is going to make it spawn harder mobs uh, when I get raided. Because so far, I've, I haven't been raided by anything uh, aside from the swamp. The swamp did, okay, so the swamp did change, but nothing else. Like, I still haven't uh, gotten raided by trolls, and I should have. So I don't know why maybe this is gonna do it maybe and if that if that's the case then uh a stone wall is definitely gonna help i'm still gonna go with the wooden walls for the for uh for the buildings themselves because i think it's gonna be way too much stone to deal with um maybe i can do part of them stone just for looks but stone is mostly gonna be for the wall itself and that wall is going to stretch for a while like all the way down there maybe but that's eventually for now for now, let's start. I don't know where I want to begin, honestly. Maybe right here. This looks nice and flat. Maybe I can start hoeing down a little bit towards there. And then I'm going to end up probably like right here or wherever it matches with the other uh, with the other side. And then this is going to slope down um, into the ocean where I'm going to have my sweet, sweet dock. Probably right there. So... Let's get it. Let's do this.
Woo! This was some crazy amount of work. Holy crap, man. I didn't, uh... I didn't even pay attention to how many days passed. They're just into it, you know? Just just grinding hard. But this is nice, man. This is this is what I wanted right here. Super good. Um, and then I'm going to figure out something right here. Maybe actually make a staircase going all the way down to the water. I think that, that might be cool. So, yeah, I don't have to level everything, right? That would be pretty... That would be pretty crazy. This little part took that, that long. So imagine, imagine if I wanted to go all the way down there or if I started, if I started all the way down there trying to dig through this. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy I didn't. All right, I think it's time for me to start laying the foundation uh, of the, of the, of the hut, uh, right? So it's going to be... Uh, just the first building, my main building, where I'm going to be sleeping and, uh, you know, just spawning into. Um, I still need to, you know, build all the other buildings in the back. I'm going to leave the teleport room for now, even though that might be the second room to start uh, building. But is this a giant hole? Yeah. Let's smooth this out a little bit. Um, it doesn't really matter how smooth this is, by the way. I just want it to be leveled because I'm still going to build it on stilts, I believe, because it's not perfectly smooth. And that means that if I just lay a floor straight on this without having it on stilts, um, there, some of the dirt is going to show through, like these little mounds right here. Uh, I have to dig. I have to dig this out and then smoothen it after it just. Those are probably going to be all over the place. It's too much work. So, I want to go for with a, um, I don't know, like a cir circular shape for this one. And it's going to be multiple floors. Um, I'm really not sure how I want to do this yet, but let's, I guess, begin maybe. Um, I don't know how this is going to work. I really, I'm not sure. I'm just, I don't even have a picture in my head yet. So, for now... Let's leave, probably put this here, probably put another one up here so I can build. All right. And I think, yeah, like I said, I want to build, I want to begin with the poles, right? Because like, okay, if I place this floor, look, look at some of the spots, see how it's just, there's going to be dirt showing through. And I don't want that. Um, I can put this at, at the highest point, right? At the highest little mound. But I don't know where that's at. Um, I don't know if this is slightly sloping up or anything. So it's just going to be too much work trying to go through each and every single little mountain here. And try to smoothen it out. So I think... I think beginning with the poles is going to be the way to go. So... I'm going to go like this. I want it to be facing the sea. And I want it to be... I want the main gate to be in the middle, right? And that's a little bit difficult to judge. I'm not I'm not sure where the middle is. I'm guessing right here. So let's actually turn it like this. Ah, the stair the staircase is gonna be a little bit difficult to do. I feel. Uh it's a little bit too sloped. But that's okay, we can work with that. So I think I'm going to drop this one here. And I'm going to start laying the floor. Or no, actually, I want to begin with beams. I definitely want to do beams this time. So, yeah, it's going to be this far off the ground, which is not bad. And uh, I can count the beams now. So, okay. Let's see. I, I'm not sure how this is going to play out.
anyway, so the crazy thing about this is that... <laughs> I mean, it's not that crazy. It's obvious. Uh, it's going to be a lot of resources. And uh, what I decided I'm going to do is just bring the cart there. Fill up the cart. That's why I don't, That way I don't have to keep going back and forth to the forest. Uh, unfortunately, there's no way to demolish the cart. So you have to break it with an axe. Uh, it's the only way I found. And you do get your, all your materials back. So it's uh, not a big video. And then I can just rebuild the cart at my new base. At my new base location. It's not really a base yet. Uh, but it's going to be. So... Let's repair the axe because it's taking a lot of freaking durability to uh, to chop all this wood. I do have all of these trees here that I can chop, but then it's a matter of bringing them through the portal. Just 450 weight, right? And not even 450 because um, without anything in my inventory, without, without the wood in my inventory, uh, I'm already carrying like 120 weight. So yeah, I think uh, building the cart is going to be the way to go. Uh, fill it up to the top, haul it back um, up here, and then I have easy access to wood. Um, it's going to make things a lot faster, I feel. Uh, the only thing that I did find about the cart, though, is that weight does matter. Uh, you can't just haul a full cart easily without any problems. It's going to pull you back. So um, let's actually... Let's build it. Where can I build this? I can't build it here. All right. Let's build it right here. Uh, yeah, just like that. And then probably I want to haul it to the easiest location um, where I have the most trees. Probably over there or uh, where it's not that sloped, right? Because like when I fill it up, I'm not going to be able to haul it. So let me see if I can show you. Okay, the cart is full. Uh, that's a lot of wood right here. And this used to be a forest. All of this used to be a forest. You can see all the stumps. So now the question is, can I haul this up this tiny little slope? I'm not sure. Uh, okay, I can. It is pulling me back a little bit, though. As you can see, I'm slowing down. If this slope was a little bit steeper, I wouldn't be able to uh, haul this cart just because it's so full. So the weight does matter when it comes to um, when it comes to this cart. Yeah. I'm getting stuck a little bit. If it was a little bit steeper, I wouldn't be able to do it. So initially, I thought the weight does not matter. It does. It does slow you down. So it makes sense. I'm not sure if it actually got updated um, or something. But yeah, it does matter. Now, okay. Can I carry this much? 25. I just put this... Back in here. Okay. So, uh, let's continue building this sweet, sweet base.
All right, as you can see, uh, I kind of made a mistake with building the floor. I should have started with just a cross, you know, just uh, a cross from door to door, and then from that side, from the middle, all the way to the middle here. And then all of them could have met right here in the middle. Instead, I kind of did it in a circle, and some spot I built out more than the other ones. And then, yeah, it, it basically ended up with this weird awkward design that i don't know how i'm gonna fill up um yeah it's it's tricky it's tricky building so i'm not really sure how that's gonna work i mean it's gonna fill up somehow but it's gonna look weird and that's not really what i wanted so i'm not really sure how i'm gonna do this um okay that actually fits here uh, it's kind of like a puzzle piece. Try to make it fill uh, fill up, but uh, without uh, pieces sticking up. That's mainly what I'm what I'm uh, going after. I don't want things to stick up, and it looks like it's gonna be very very freaking tricky. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Um, there's too many snap points at this point. That's why this is getting weird. Okay, perfect. Uh, too many snap points, man. Uh, but it looks like we are finishing up, man. And that's been just the floor. If you guys saw how many, uh, trees I needed for that. Insane. Insane. Uh, lots of, lots of resources, man. All right. I mean, the floor is not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's working and there's no raised points. That's mainly what, uh, what I was worried about. So now... I'm going to have to cover this as soon as possible because if it rains, this floor is ruined. And I'm going to have to repair each and every piece. And I, some of the pieces I can't even see. So it's going to be weird. Um, I can't cover this up yet, though, because I have, to, I have to put up beams just to hold this place up. And I'm not really sure how. Um, core wood. I mean, I want these just so... Because it's going to be on the inside, right? And I want it to look nice and spicy. But... Maybe I can hop through the portal. Uh, okay, so... I'm not gonna do that. Uh, let me see if I can actually get this cart in, inside. Up the stairs. Nice! I can. Okay, cool. I'm gonna let it chill here so it doesn't degrade in the rain. If it rains, which is probably gonna rain. Uh, I'm not actually even sure if it does degrade. Let's close the doors. This is completed. <laughs> this is just the, just the, um, the enclosure. Nothing inside yet. I'm going to be building chimneys. I'm going to be building lots of stuff inside. I want it to be nice. And I want uh, the comfort level to be as high as as, uh, as high as it possibly can get. Um, there's going to be beams on the outside. There's going to be a lot more to this. But for now, I can't finish this in this episode. I, I thought I could finish a single building in this episode. But I can't. I bit off more than I could chew. Uh, it, it's too big, man. 8x8. Eight eight, uh it still doesn't look that big, but you guys saw how much work went into this. And this is just an 8x888 eight 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 everywhere. Um, I guess it's a giant octagon. So, uh, what I'm going to do instead is uh, I've been meaning to check out the mountain because there's something that I didn't realize. And that is that the mountain is third. I thought the plains was third. The plains is fourth. And that's why the plains is so difficult still. So, uh, it actually makes sense. And that means that the mountain is going to be easier than the plains. And I can deal with the plains, sort of. Kind of. Um, I, more or less, I can definitely deal with the plains. So, uh, let's actually stick this wood in here for now. So, yeah, the mountain uh, is going to unlock a lot. Um, a lot of new uh, weapons and armor. And they're fairly easy to get. That's why I want to go there uh, right now. So, I'm going to go with the sausages, and I'll just keep the carrot soup just in case. So, uh, actually, no, I'm not, because uh, if I'm going to be using the, uh, what's called, the lox meat, then I don't need, uh, this, this is going to go on the upper chest. I, also, the crazy thing is, I'm going to have to move everything from here to there. Everything, man. Uh, including the ingots. And the ingots are going to be the most difficult part because I can't just hop through the TP, right? So, 
I have to run all the way there, and yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to carry all of them. I don't know how I'm going to do this. It's going to be a process over multiple episodes, I'm guessing. So, for now, um, make sure everything is repaired. And uh, let's actually check out the mountain. Oh, uh, I did make some frost potions. Uh, or some uh, some freezing potions, whatever they're called. I'm not sure if they're ready. It is! It is ready. Let's go. All right, I'm going to need this so I don't freeze. Frost resistance potions. Right. So, uh, I got a bunch. <laughs> Holy crap, I got 18 of them. Um, not going to need that many, I don't think. I'm going to... I'm just going to deposit 10 of them in the chest. So, yeah, this should be easier. I hope. <laughs> I hope. I really hope it's easier. I really hope I don't die here. But, I mean, I did leave some... Oh... Okay, 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 okay. Let's 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 hop here. Let's hop here. Too many wolves. Whew. Whew. When I said it's gonna be easier, stamina is the problem right now. I didn't expect three of them, bro. Oh, I just should probably run down here. I need stamina. All right, one's taken care of. Woo! They do damage. They do damage, bro. I almost actually died. The stamina is the problem. Ah, stamina is just so important. They came out of nowhere, too. Holy crap. All right. They're easy to kill, but they do damage. Uh, I almost died there. I, I, I actually almost died. I couldn't block anything because no stamina. I couldn't hit because no stamina. Yikes. That was scary, dude. These are just the first mobs. Wolves are the first mob. There's some scarier stuff in here. Holy crap. Uh, probably swap to this, right? Like... 21 to 37. 24 to 38. Yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the mace. Um, scary stuff, dude. Oh... This might be the next boss? No, it's not. Wait. Oh, it's telling me how to find the next box or what I need to do for the next boss. Okay, this is a giant freaking mountain. And I'm getting worried because not all mountains have silver, apparently. And I still... Oh, oh, we got a drake. Oh, we got two drakes. Of course, there, there's two of them. Oh, got one. Oh, no way. I hit the tree. Yes. Yes. Uh, all right. It's just so white. I can't find anything. All right, full. Um, drop the stones. Drop the wood. Drop this stuff. Uh, I have so much resin. There's a lot of baddies here, dude. All right, you got freezing gland. I I got some locks, but I didn't even see what they were. This ice storm is really, really a problem. Whoa, that was a one shot. Let's go. Oh, I kind of don't want to do that. Where did it die? There it is. All the way down there. Let's swap. All right, so maybe I should mark these eggs. Right? Like... Maybe I should mark this. Like, why I don't want to pick it up is because I'm not sure if that's going to trigger something. Like, I, I, I don't know how the second boss works. I know it has something to do with these eggs. I, I keep hearing stuff. It's very creepy. Maybe I should walk around here. So, silver, not looking good so far. That's going to be really bad if I don't find silver here. Right. 
The Drakes are the easiest thing so far. Maybe we're going to have silver this way. I just have to hop up there like a mountain goat. Come on. Get some stamina. Oh, man. Come on, Wishbone. Is it even equipped? Like, is it because I'm carrying this and the Wishbone in my inventory together? So it's like glitching out or something? I, I just can't believe there's no way that there's no silver here. I, I can't believe that. Oh, obsidian. Okay. So, okay. 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 Too hard. No! I have to get a freaking iron pickaxe? Does that mean that I can't get the silver either? Alright. Well, uh, I'm going to mark this at least. Obsidian is here. Obsidian, a bunch of obsidian. All right. And no pings, no silver. No freaking silver, man. Uh, I mean, maybe this way. <laughs> There's so much to explore. There's so much to explore. Okay, that's unfortunate. So I can't even gather the obsidian right now. Uh, that means that I have to go back to the swamp. Back to the crypts. To get some more iron, smelt that iron, and uh, get myself an iron pickaxe, which I should have done. You know, it makes sense that I should have done that. Uh, I don't think there's a way to get down from here. I kind of, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna suicide. So yeah, guys, uh, I think I'm gonna have to do that, and that's going to be. I'm gonna suicide here, aren't I? This is just a vertical drop. Uh, I, I go for it. Oh, nice. It's not too bad. We can just slide. All right. Yeah. Um, this is going to be it for this episode, guys. A uh, little bit of a setback. I wonder if the, um, if the silver is not pinging because I don't have the, uh, the pickaxe for it. I don't know if that's a thing. But I'm going to keep exploring a little bit more. Uh, get some, get an iron pickaxe. And yeah, <laughs> that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.